and sitting here watching it get torn down, it's just, it's crazy. It's almost unbelievable, really. My connection to the Y really goes all the way back to in diapers. Growing up here, walking right on down the street to the YMCA. It, you talk about a YMCA kid, but I, I'm the embodiment of that. You know, I am a YMCA kid. How many of you think lions are ticklish? Me. Okay. I live across the street from the Y, and okay. I just grew up with the Y. I know mostly everybody up there, and they care for me. To be a kid means painting beautiful pictures and spending time with your family. I don't know, I just want to help people. It makes me feel good. I know it's the right thing to do. Back when I was 12 years old, my mom passed, you know, and, and that was around the time you guys had that first interview with me. We were real close with the YMCA, you know, uh, Miss Janice, you know, Miss Ross, Miss Shara, Miss Jennifer. They were all able to, you know, assist me and, and having like some like a mother figure. I gravitated towards the YMCA because, you know, uh, of, of those female figures. I mean, you can turn a building down, but you can't take away the impact of the YMCA here in this area. One, two, three. To know that they're about to tear this down and, and put something even better up, I, I, can't, I can't do nothing but smile, you know? I can't do nothing but smile, I'm happy.